Hello, welcome to I'm My Channel. In my homosexual opinion. I'm Davi Ryan. I'm Alexis P. Bevels. The P stands for POA, which I learned this week stands for plan of attack, plan of action, or piss on asses. Yeah, piss on asses is, I think, what we eventually landed on. But yeah. We <laughs> like to think. Just like the piss on the ass. <laughs> Wait, are you misery? No, I'm just, worry, no, I'm just cute. You're kind of misery. Wait, I am kind of misery! You are! I was just trying to be cute. No, you're cute misery. You're like if Baga had tried to do misery but do drag at yes the same time. Yesified? I mean, Don't just do drag misery. in general. I'm playing um, Catherine Bates in Misery, the musical. You can be... Um, Miserable? You can be that, that grill fire. Are you calling me a flamer? I'm burning up. Burn, burn your book. Your book sucks right now. Yeah. So Cheryl, Xiao Hao, and Blue. Oh yes. America, the world's new villain. They were in town. They were in town for Roscoe's viewing party, UK versus the world. We went out with them the night before, and we did dinner. And we bar hopped, and we had a wonderful time. Yeah, I got They're really drunk. And so I think so they. Well, okay, good. I don't remember you leaving. I don't remember you singing. Oh yeah, they were doing a. They were doing some kind of like pop quiz karaoke, bitch. I don't know, but apparently I loved it. Dylan sent me, Dylan of course of Transit Productions sent me, he was like, oh here I found these videos and one of them was a video of you singing and I was like, oh my God, Alexa sang. I clicked on the video and I'm in the video losing my mind. Because you just got done telling me, you were giving me compliments. You know I don't usually uh, like well, that. Oh, well you know I was strong. But you were giving me compliments about my singing and then they were like, who wants to sing for a shot? And I thought it was just gonna be like a quick little couple of words, but it was a whole like karaoke contest where they played the beginning of the song and then you have to continue it and I was so nervous I went last but it was a song that I knew luckily. Did you win? I was excited to see the episode after we had heard yes, some so of the, the funny things that had happened. So we allegedly heard um, nothing. I very much enjoyed overall this experience. This was a had. good episode. Naomi Small's level all-stars. Yeah. Charcuterie board Which is how? Excitement. Why do you say charcuterie? I think I was trying to say like spectacular. Well, because Juju oh, said charcuterie. charcuterie. That, th that was funny. Stuck in my brain. That was funny. Thank you, Juju. I thought Juju be at a good snatch game. But Juju as, was, she's always amazing. Because Juju, because, okay, I also really loved her snatch game because Juju was funny. That was garbage share. And I think had Janie Takei or someone without a reputation uh, being like a funny Rue girl had done that and said the exact same lines, I don't know that Rue would have responded the way she did. But yeah. that's what this competition is all about, is learning your strengths and what you were able to do. And Juju is able to do a really bad share and be charming as fuck. Yeah, it doesn't even matter if it was good or bad. She made Rue laugh and she made Which me laugh. Which is what she said at the beginning. She's like, this entire thing is about making Rue laugh. Yeah. It's true. It doesn't matter what the guests do. Kelly Price clearly had never seen the show. So don't try to make her, <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't yeah, try yeah, to make yeah. her laugh. You won't do it. Just make Rue laugh. Move on. It's the Snatch Game Family Edition, a new twist we've never seen before. It's Family Feud. They play Family Feud. I was a little bummed that once it was revealed that we would be playing Family Feud, that Rue didn't wear a Steve Harvey mustache. That would have been mm. hilarious. Rue, start doing drag again. It's the divas versus the daddies. Everyone on Michelle Visage's side was kind of male presenting. Oh! Oh! Because we had Billy Porter on the end. You're right. Icon. Then we Mike had Myers Mike in the Myers. Middle. Then we had Jane Charles. And then we had Michelle Visage, who is super mask. I mean, she does have a very butch energy. Yeah. And she's super into reminding us that she took her boobs off. Yeah. I was kind of excited she was there because then when she gave critiques later, I was like, well, she was there. She knows. Listen, as a, a big part of the appeal Cannon. of Michelle Visage is that we can rib her and kind of slap her around a yeah, little. Yeah, because there's not so much boob. You can you get can straight to it. Yeah. But also that like she is really good at her job. As far as like she's very passionate about participating whenever she's brought on as like the director or whatever. She's always going to be good. Yeah. Should we just start with the with the daddies and go down the line? Let's, yeah, let's start with do it. let's start with Mo Hart's Billy Porter, which she was going to do Gordon oh, Ramsay. Ramsay. Uh, okay, this was so funny to me because you're on the BBC yeah. and you're American and you're not known for your accent work. I'm going to be the British guy that everyone in the world knows. Oh, is he British? 
Yeah. I'm saving food TV for marriage. Oh no, he did. My favorite show that he ever had was in, it was on, it was an American show. It was on Fox. It was like Hotel Nightmares. Like, okay, you know, Alex Polizzi, love of my life. She's a hotel inspector on BBC. <laughs> okay. She has a new show called My Hotel Nightmare because, okay, so she comes from a hotelier family. If you're uh, fr if you're British, you don't need to listen to this, you know. Hilton. But they own two gorgeous hotels. Her mom owns two gorgeous hotels, one of which Alex used to run. Anyway, they had finally paid off both hotels, like, after years and years and years, and, like, they are sitting pretty. And then Alex is like, I need another project. So they take on another hotel that immediately puts them in millions of dollars worth of debt. Of debt. Guess when they bought the hotel? March 2020? December 2019. So yeah. Oh! So the series that initially was supposed to just be like, a, look at Alex like transforming this hotel and starting this new hotel. Instead the series is called Alex Polizzi, colon, my hotel nightmare. I'm loving it. Anyway, but yeah, he used to take over like hotels and a lot of times, can I tell you this, Gordon Ramsay, he can yell right into my pussy. I think he is so hot. He is what does tall, he look like again? He is muscular. He's ruddy. I would say he's ruddy. I think ruddy is a good description of his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Angry British. Okay, I got yeah. it. Well, I'm glad Mohart did not do Gordon Ramsay. I thought the Billy Porter, I, I chuckled a few times. I thought it was good. I thought it was too. Not as good as the guy on TikTok who does Billy Porter and makes me laugh out loud. You oh, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Ten, uh, uh, what awards? Uh, Tony medals. Aren't they medals? I feel like they're um, sort of like obelisks. But they go, they turn. They're like little medals, right? They're like, oh. I think more awards should be more than one thing. Like, could you imagine if the Oscar was an eraser? The gold does erase off of an Oscar, let me tell you. So I used to be a teacher, specifically I, I worked with kids with autism for the most part. And I went to a conference and the man who Rain Man was based off of, when Rain Man won the Oscar for whatever it won the Oscar for, he got an Oscar. And so since like whatever year that was, 1990, I don't fucking know. 20. He has been going to these conferences, taking pictures with people, cause he's famous, and letting them hold, he loves when people hold his Oscar. Gold at the top, gold at the bottom, completely silver where people hold it. It rubs off. That interesting. That is interesting. So Oscars are not solid gold? If you get a chance to hold an Oscar, make sure your hands aren't gross. I will. I will. I'll wear gloves that night. Blue Hydrangea as Michael Myers as Austin Powers. Now Austin Powers is a little bit of a kind of a sore spot for me because when I was young, I was at a church function and I was laughing at something and a kid made fun of me for having too many gums. Like, and then he called me Austin Powers. <gasps> too much gum. And cause I had the dark framed glasses and like uh, head, hair. He didn't make fun of your teeth? They were nice back then. <laughs> they were um, new. It was a different time. Cause I was young. Yeah, it was a different time. Oh, that's so mean. It was mean. And that's when I learned church people, mean. I, <laughs> still unpacking that. I was obsessed with Austin Powers when it came out. It was like the first kind of adult humor thing that my parents allowed me to have. I don't know why, but they did. And I had an Austin Powers keychain that was in the shape of his head. It was like he'd been beheaded and I just carried him around. <laughs> I didn't have keys to anywhere. I just had his head in my pocket and you could press buttons under the neck and it would do his like catchphrases. Oh, that's And one funny. of them is, are you horny baby or horny, you horny baby? You make me horny baby. There you go. Do I make you horny baby? Yeah. yeah. My parents were not thrilled with that. So I was allowed to push every button but that button. I was told not to push that button. Did you like go in your room and did? constantly. I see, I wanted to see it because I wasn't allowed to. But then when I did see it, I'm sure at a friend's house, I, I that, I'm gonna say in my unpopular homosexual opinion, I muho. Austin Powers is kind of like Shrek to me. I appreciate what it's done for the culture, but it is not for me. But she uh, did Blue really did a really good yeah, job. She really did. It was that healthy mix of doing the catchphrases, but not like overkill. It was funny. Now I, I personally, I hate, <laughs> Don't watch this, Lou. I hated her. Mary Cherry. Mary, Mary Berry. Berry. 
Well, I call her Mary Cherry because it was just so disrespectful that I can't even say, you know, the name. Right. It was just like finding, it didn't relate at all. She was just like, I'm just going to be dirty, which was shocking, you know. So at the time, of course, like, oh, the, but now that we know that she's just a really dirty, dirty little devil, I was worried that this wouldn't be as clever as it actually was. And then it was very clever. I thought, yeah, it I was thought really good. she delivered. And then to switch, like Michelle said, <gasps> as it started to get kind of monotonous, suddenly you're Dr. Evil and it's a completely different character. So funny. Yeah. Oh. 10 out of 10. When <laughs> she said piping hot schmegma, I is, fell out of my chair. I mean. Because we've all experienced that. No. Something I didn't quite understand was Janie Decay picking James Charles. I'll say this, the look was on point. The that's look and the manner, it. yeah, the that's look and the mannerisms. I will say, I didn't hate it. No, I, and that, I, I want to say this about all of us. There wasn't a bad, no. there wasn't really a bad egg in the bunch. Everyone did a serviceable job. There wasn't a moment for any of them where I was like, oh my God. The editors didn't even really do any big. Yeah. Meow. She wasn't initially going to do it because he's so problematic. And then Rue's like, do whatever you want. And then as they're getting ready for Snatch Game, they have a, a very odd conversation about cancel culture. What I thought was really odd is that cancel culture, as understood, at least in the States, has really had a, a huge kind of resurgence since the Black Lives Matter movement. And we were suddenly, finally dealing with racist shit people have done and said. So to have one black person and two people of color in the room, but the entire conversation was just white people, I thought was strange. I thought it was a strange yeah. choice. Eventually they did sort of get involved. And I, you know, we just saw an edit of it. So I don't know if they attempted to get them involved sooner. One of the most uncomfortable moments for me was Baga saying, well, I'm not a woke person. I'm just who I am. So like, I don't know if I'm the right person for this conversation. Correct me if I'm wrong, but in the past, she has been identified as, perhaps she has identified herself as, I'm not sure, as a Tory, as a conservative, and has said and done some problematic things in the past from conversations and, and internets. Apparently she's getting better whatever that means. Mm -hmm. And so to hear this, from my understanding, conservative person just immediately bringing in that kind of Republican conservative propaganda hype language of like, well, I'm not woke. I'm not woke and cancel culture. It just immediately gave, it gave very much a Tucker Carlson thing. And I just needed, I needed her to <clears throat> exit the conversation. Yeah. Well, can I say this? I don't know if it's right. Not thinking about that in that moment. I kind of just thought she was like, I know I'm not perfect. And then she was trying to head for the joke to get out of the conversation of, I don't make fun of other people, but I take up the piss out of myself. And so in be, no way defending her. Right. It, no, no, no. I understand. But, yeah. But she centered it back to like, see, I'm not bad because I make fun of myself. Well, that doesn't okay. necessarily mean True. that you're making the right choices in other areas. So I agree with you. She was trying to escape the conversation, which again, it's a white person coming into this conversation that needs to be had and trying to end it. It's also a bad look. And again, I, I want to say this was mostly non-Americans. So I don't want to speak for their culture. I mean, we're only speaking for ourselves. Well, no, and I'm speaking, so I'm also speaking for Margaret Thatcher since she's no longer with us. I'm sure she would agree with me. Oh, she died? Have okay. you ever seen the news footage of Margaret Thatcher's death? of just the awful things people say. People are interviewing like, how do you feel? And people hated her because she was like a conservative Tory nightmare. And one woman said that if she knew where she was buried, she'd piss on her grave. <laughs> oh, anyway. My, my mom pissed on her dad's grave, but it was on accident. And honestly, we don't know that your dad wasn't into that. No, her dad. I stand by my statement. <laughs> <laughs> Bag of chips as Catherine Bates as Anna from Misery. Yes. Very funny. Very funny. Very funny. And so I hadn't seen Misery in a while or even all the way through probably. So I didn't realize she was, that Paul is the name of the character in the movie, but I thought she was just calling her Paul Paul. Which, which made is me laugh hilarious. So hard. Yeah. I thought she made a lot of really good choices. And I know it's such a cliche thing to say when that game. Like, you stayed in character the whole time. That was so great. But her character was so insane and quiet and focused. That made it even funnier because whenever anyone would say something funny, they'd cut to like Pangina was cracking up a lot and Mo laughed a little. Which, and then they'd yeah. cut to Baga's face and she would just be, that was solid. It was really good. Was really I, good. I think she kind of proved why she's here in this episode. I also- Proved why we've 
We've been through a lot with her this season to get her to this episode. Yeah, I also loved those plastic dividers they had between Michelle and Katie Price and everyone else. Next to Bag of Chips was Pangina Heels as Mariah Carey. I thought she did fine. The look? The look was incredible. Are you the kidding? movements, the hand. Do you follow that person on TikTok who does Mariah? I don't follow them, but, but yeah, they, I see they their come show. all they, the time. Same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The look. Pangina, honestly. It was fantastic. I mean, Pangina is excellence, and this was really good. And even her performance wasn't that bad. It wasn't that good, but it wasn't that bad. The I cringiest say not bad part for me was when they did mention Mariah's evil... Oh, see, I didn't know that reference. Bianca? I didn't either, but I'm also not playing her on TV. So for her not to know the reference, and then for not only Rue to explain it to you, the host, but the contestant sitting beside you who's not playing Mariah. Okay. That was uncomfortable Conspiracy for me. theory. That was uncomfortable for me. Drag queens on Drag Race love to not know anything about Mariah Carey. Stay away from Mariah Carey. Stay away from Pink. Stay away from Taylor Swift. Stay away from Beyonce, unless you're Trinity K. Bonet. And stay away from me while you're at it. I just wanted to add You'll something. You'll have to leave. This is my <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's bad juju. But we did get good juju this week with her <laughs> juju share. She uh, did bad share. Sure really Curry. good. She did. She was funny juju. I mean, juju she was did funny. juju as share, pretending to be share for like half the a look second. was on point. The look was great, and she had a couple of the lines. I think that's. I think that's what you. I thought have she to was do. good. I thought it was funny. I thought she was top three. I thought she was top. This really fucking sucks for her to have been in the bottom so many times, and then to get where she finally did a good job, <clears> and <throat> then if you're not in the top, you're in the bottom. Let's go to the runway, and let's start with RuPaul. I loved. I thought it was pretty. I loved it. I thought it was really pretty. I loved love an overly structured flowy dress, right? Doesn't it look like it's supposed to be flowy and fun with a little ruffle? But it was so structured, it moved like cardboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I dig it. Radio royalty Cla Clara Ampho, who oh. was so gorgeous and so, like you could feel the energy that she was excited to be she there. She would be a wonderful rotating guest on Drag Race UK. More so, yeah. sorry, no disrespect. I'm sorry to other lady. She knew her shit and yeah. she was excited and she was gorgeous and she was funny. I want more of her. Yeah. And then uh, Michelle Keegan. Fine. Great. Lovely. I missed the runway theme, but I, uh, luck be a lady, right? Mm-hmm. Lucky ladies. Let's start with a blue hydrangea. I thought this was so pretty. I thought it was so smart too, because she was like, I combined leprechaun with Vegas, kind of gambling. I loved it. I loved the hair was incredible. The dark green. You really have to look at it to see the playing cards and the little gold embellishments weren't bright, Lot shiny. Lot to look at. I just loved it. Her makeup. I mean, we know she's a gifted artist, but her makeup. But when she was talking to the other ladies in the workroom, I was like, "You're unreal." Okay, I have to tell y'all something really mean. Blue said to me. I don't even remember how it wasn't mean. <laughs> was but like that's no it wasn't she we were, was complimenting you she's like you should do another makeup video i liked your first i can't do a blue accent you know how blue talks in question marks i like your makeup video you should do another like, video you should uh, wait like, anyway she's like i just can't see how you how you do that to your face yeah, 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 yeah. she's like i mean it's really precise and i did like it or i like the video but i just don't I could never do that. Fuck you. No, you're you're taking oh, it in how not how she meant it. She was she joking. liked it. Janie Jacquet is a roulette table and a gorgeous La Barbie poker chippy. I loved it. I thought she looked gorgeous. I thought she looked absolutely gorgeous. Did you have like a casino night at your high school? No, because we were all very Christian. No gambling. Graduation night. Did you do this like a lock in? No. Graduation night, they lock everyone in probably so you don't go out like drinking and like r ruining oh, so you lives. Drink in the school. Yeah, you drink in the school and they had casino tables in the cafeteria. But you don't bet real money, you just play. Ours was actually Mardi Gras themed and then there was casino. Fact I'm just Tuesday. remembering. And I'm trying to think of where I slept. I must have stolen away to the like choir room or the theater because I didn't want to sleep with the other people. Okay, you can't leave us hanging like that. Promise us that when you remember, you'll let us know. No, it's just such a, that was so important. You know what? <laughs> 
Can I say this about this? I loved it. I think she looks absolutely stunning. The thing that's funny to me is that the details on the table, it looked like a clip art image that she just printed out and oh, put on the table. Oh, not very two-dimensional? Three-dimensional? Yes, yes. That's what it is. Three di that's exactly what it is. Like, if you I take a school. look at... Um, Pangina, may she rest. If you take a look at her costume as compared to this one, um, yeah. At, at the very least, had she put like the green felt from like the table on there or something, just to add a little texture and a little depth. It did read as kind of flat. That's it. Thank you for the help. You're welcome. Juju B. Now, once I got what this was, I loved it, but straight away, I didn't you under- You loved it? You loved it? You loved it? Yeah. And I'm gonna tell you why. I think it's it's come all the way around to um, camp. Yeah. Listen, I know she that refuses she... to try I to get wear that. spark. No. Oh. I don't know. Alexis, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Did you get it though? Yeah. The fact that then put in cat ears. Paint your hands like with the little pads on it. Like. Do something. Don't wear a gold dress that made, that looked like she made that right before she walked out. Do you get it? I'm a cat. I could have worn cat Maybe if it stuff. had sparkles. Or had she painted a cat's face on? She couldn't do that. They already did cats earlier. Alexis, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm, <laughs> I don't get why you're defending this. I say, I- This is so rude. I, she wore a gold dress and nothing else. And all she did was this. The most signature part of those good luck cats is not the gold colors, that they're fucking cats. And we didn't know she was a cat. I think this is, this is bad. That's, mm-mm. Uh-uh. I think this is the most beautiful thing that's ever walked down the road. I'm runway. so mad. <laughs> <laughs> I feel- You shouldn't have made fun of my high school graduation <laughs> story, you bitch. <laughs> I just don't think you would accept that I from said, anyone I, else. I, I don't said, think you well, would. Well, no, of course not, but she deserves a little extra because she's been doing this since before we were born. Hi, I'm the good luck kitty. Be a cat. I'm sorry, at the very least, and that even wouldn't have been enough. Had she done cat ears and a cat paint, that would not have been enough. Unless she has coins shitting out of her pussy. There's no I don't sparkle. Care. There's it's no so, sparkle. I'm sorry. I love Juju B as a person, but I love. Here's the other thing that I really enjoyed was Baga's chat about that when she was like, "Who is this? I'm not seeing the Juju that we know and love. Like this isn't the Juju we know." Which is what the judges said last week, and it was honestly really nice to hear a contestant say it. To hear Baga say, "Yeah, I see it too. Like I don't know who this is. She's not Juju B." She's phoning it in. And I know that I have said in the past that I think it's iconic, and it is, but now we're getting to the point where I'm just like, come on, that's insulting. Yeah. Well, you know, I think we can both agree on Mo Hearts. This Joshua was... Conte. Say it with me. Oh. Terrible. Great. I hated everything Shut about up. it. <laughs> This right was incredible. Joshua Naponte, you have done it again. Did you see on Twitter that he went to the hospital after this? Yes. That person does not stop until he creates he art. Works. I know, he works too. Um, much. This is incredible. Can't really. Even without the lights. When they dimmed this is... the lights, when they turned the lights yeah, off look at... so that you could see the lights, were you not just like... Uh, I, this I, should, this uh, should, uh, this should be in the Vegas live show, but with Mo wearing it. This is incredible. This is art. Have you seen Honey, I Blew Up the Kid? Yes, of course. That's who I would have done for Snatch Game. <laughs> the baby. The kid, <laughs> when he cries at the end. <laughs> oh, that hurt my heart. That would not have been one note. That would have been incredible. He no? would have definitely won. And now Bag of Chips, who I actually thought looked really good on the Northwest Runway. I, I liked, liked it, it a lot. Listen, it, was it as... Uh, um, I thought it was good. It's on the nose, but comparatively to what we've also seen before, <laughs> yeah. this is miles Compared, above and beyond. Compared to herself. I do like that they finally said, like, you're just a robot on the runway. Give us you. You don't have to do a performance of you in the first go-round. Just give us you. Do what whatever you yeah. want to do. Like, so do whatever I you want to do within reason. Like, I like don't it. do Tory stuff. If this possible. is yeah. Ooh, political. Who's Tory? I like Tori Spelling. Remember in season two when she and her husband came? Or no, that was season one. 
Her husband. Chanel. Yeah, because I was Chanel, Chanel. Chanel asking, so what did you think, like, how did you feel? Or, or did you even feel anything at all? Or did you have any thoughts? Like, would you want to do anything like that? Or has And did you have a baby? Or did you decide not to have the baby? And did you carry it to term yourself? Or are you going to <laughs> carry it to term yourself? And what do you think about the Tories? Pangina Heels is a full slot machine. With coins. With coins. Falling out of Ow. the seat. The waist is tapered in. The waist of her slot machine is tapered. And when she took it off, it was like half tuxedo, half showgirl. Very smart. Uh, uh, never a tapered a slot machine. Now, Darby, I'm sure when we saw this, we all had the same thought is you famously have a coin slot for your butthole. Yes, correct. How did you feel seeing this representation on the runway? I don't have coins falling out of the slot as she did. I have people putting coins and other things in. Mm -hmm. So it was like seeing the other side of things. Well, it's like that game we like to play where you put the coins in and then at the very last it all shoves out. So you're just like Well, it's adding supposed to. We yeah. hope it does. Right. It doesn't always end that way. And there is a lot of tears, much like this episode. Uh, it's a gamble. A theme. <laughs> We get our top two, bag of chips and blue hydrangea. And if you're not on the top, you're in the bottom. Mm -hmm. So then they go back to the workroom and they all have to beg for their lives. I really enjoyed seeing Mo go to blue and say, I'm not coming empty handed. If you save me, I'll save you. And they made a deal. And then Mo went over to Baga and Baga's like, I would never, I'm not, I would never send you home. And she's like, okay, great. So yeah. Mo like, as she should have. I don't think she should have gone into she that shouldn't elimination have been in the, worried she shouldn't have, or concerned. Yeah, but you never know. Seeing Pangina go through it, knowing how it was going to end. Yeah, we spoiled it for ourselves. Um, that, that was, was rough. Janie and Juju, I think we expected. Well, no, wait, I'm wrong. Because Juju was actually pretty good. That's the thing is, there wasn't really but her clear... runway was so garbage. To some people. It was garbage. One man's trash I, is another man's trash. I'm a hundred percent. I, okay. I, I, let me say, let me, this is, uh, <laughs> I was hasty when I said I loved it. What I love is her commitment, Audis audacity, her commitment to not doing drag on the runway. <laughs> okay. I, I think honestly that thought our relationship was I, about to fall apart. <laughs> I was so worried. It reminded me of, um, Shoes. Oh, drag Volcano. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh fuck, it's another drag Volcano moment. I, and then, well, I, yeah, yeah. And to Blue's credit, she did actually, as they were chatting, she did drop a, on the one hand, I really love, I respect you, but on the other hand, it would be kind of sickening to send my biggest competition home, and that's what you are. And she's like, I do want to be in the final with the best, but I also want to make it to the final. It wasn't like she was promising not to send her home. When it comes to gameplay, if you are really wanting to win a competition and you are given the opportunity to send home your biggest competition, it would be stupid it, it, for it, you not to. I mean, it's what, can I tell you this? Before I did Camp Wanakiki, I needed money to buy the fabrics for Camp Wanakiki, so I did the singing competition in Chicago. And it was like six weeks long or whatever. There was a week, it was me and another guy, we were the top two of that week, and they were like, to decide who's gonna go on to the final three, you two winners are gonna pick who goes home. And so me and this other guy had to pick, and I suggested this girl because every single week she had been bringing her entire family, like mm -hmm. 20 people. And part of the voting was audience. Yeah. And so in front of her, her entire, entire family, family, we picked her. I think if she had gone on, she would have won by bringing a shit ton of people. And as you know, you were my only friend and you didn't come. Okay, once. I wanted to come. The reason I didn't come though, think, oh, I'm s we're finally getting this out. And yeah, happen. yeah. I feel like every time I'm in the audience when you're singing, I'm a distraction because I'm glowing with excitement That's and true. happiness. That's true. That it takes, like people are like, what is wrong with her? Is she, right. Does she have cancer? You know, cause the, you, they can feel it. The energy's coming out. Yeah. So radiation. I did that for you. Yeah, it's radiation leftover. How did we get on that? That was horrible. Sending my biggest competition home. Yeah, and I'm listen, not really mad at you for not coming to that, by the way. I honestly I don't did it as a jerk. It. Well, if you are faulting her for ruining the show, well, there's nothing left for me to watch. Cool. That's not why she's in it. She wants to win this competition she's on. And that's probably what the creators of the show want, too. They want the drama. They want... And, it's all and I'm going to say this. 
I think it is better for Pangina to have been rather maybe robbed. Robbed. People love a robbed queen. Because to get robbed storyline rather than to get to the end and possibly not win or for some other reason be sent home by RuPaul. She's got her own empire that she is the top of. I think this is better for her, just kind of optically. Mm -hmm. Sending home a front runner is a gamble. It's a gamble that Pangina ultimately lost because she did send home Jimbo, which some people interpreted as like, a, well, we can't trust her now. I do think given the Twitter... Uh, uh, Dick's course. Yes. I do think people are being a lot nicer to Blue than they were to Pangina, which reads as a little racist. Yeah. So, um... Great. Look inside yourself, people. It's a gamble that she took and ultimately lost. And it's a gamble that Blue took. You know what would be sickening? What? If Juju gets all the way to the end and just wins. Because she didn't end up sending anyone home. It went... <laughs> <laughs> and then you're going to be eating your words. No, I won't because I've never, I've never done... Shut up. You're, you don't mean any of this. We do have this lip sync okay. where Baga is the pointer sister to end pointer sisters. Hi, Garden. She is. Do you see that? Do you see that? You see that wall? How about that ceiling? You see that light? Okay, but Baga is giving energy. First of all, we have to talk about the look. Oh. You reminded me of Charity Shop Sue. I loved it. I mean, ironically. Or unironically. I'm not sure what ironic means, but I liked it uh, because... Neither does it, Alanis Morissette, okay? Hello. <laughs> That's not <a> irony. <laughs> Steven Sondheim, she is not. No. I loved how hard Blue went. I appreciated it did not look easy. It did not come naturally to her. You mean Baga? No, Blue. Oh, Blue. I'm skipping past Baga for just a second. Blue was working hard. <laughs> and it definitely did not look easy. And it looked like something she's taken time to learn. And I appreciate that. And I thought she was fun to watch. Baga is Baga. And... I thought it was a really entertaining lip sync. Blue Hydrangea wins the repeater badge. She won the lip sync. And then it's time to bring all the girls up to see who is going home. It's it's funny that you're saying it like this because it's like you're explaining what we haven't been talking about this entire time. <laughs> so we find out. Yeah, she sends Pangina home. She sends now, Pangina home. when she pulls home. the lipstick out... Okay, do you... Okay. I have this thought every episode. I've never talked about it publicly. They don't actually have it in their clothes. Do you think they stop and have it? Yes. I think they're given their lipstick before they do But do you do think it. that... But see, that's tricky because what if the producers say... Then it's the queen's job to pull it out and be like, I didn't... That's not my lipstick. Pangina tries to hold it together, ultimately does not. Okay, I love... I. I, I, I'm sad that she was disappointed and sad. I loved this. Yeah. I think this Drama. is, we should be, we should, we should watch Thailand. Oh, I want to watch We Thailand, should have been watching sure. Thailand because I feel like, Listen, I feel like we it's can all... keep saying, and, and I, we've said it before that we want to, and people are like, hey, are you ever going to do Thailand? Maybe there are 30 new drag races this year, and we're really just trying to keep our heads above water. But yes, ultimately, I do, would, I would love to watch it. Then, the most, like, heinous editing, <laughs> she oh. wails her way off stage. And the worst part about that was not the crying, but the, I'm sorry. How she kept apologizing to the Thai people and to Thailand. And I was like, oh my god, that makes me want to die. That is so heartbreaking. That's heartbreaking. You don't have anything to be sorry for. That was, sweetheart. oh, I have goosebumps. That is so, it was so sad. And then she starts wailing. Rue's like, if you don't love yourself, how are you going to be an all-star or whatever? And, and the, the editors in. left her, her crying in. Can I say this? The thing I love about Blue Hydrangea is she is dark-sided. She's mm -hmm. completely dark-sided. There is that giant angel head that she has, but on the inside, it's devils. Gutted, rotted. Gutted, rotted. <laughs> and so when Pangina has this rather emotional response, they cut to Blue, and Blue starts to put her finger up to like stifle what looked to me, this is just for me, part of me, earth to me, looked like a smile. It would look like she was about to- Maybe it was like nervous, like I- I don't think so. I think she loved it. No. And I love that. No, there's just, there's a darkness within her. I would have started to laugh and then been like, 
Oh, she's still going? That's why I think she stopped herself because she realized like, oh, this is not the mood of everyone else in the room. But can't you see that little devil being like, I just eliminated the biggest person in the competition. (laughs) <laughs> well, that was quite an episode of Drag Race UK versus the world. Yes. But it's not over, although it almost is. So it almost is. You know what? Cool. It feels like it could be over soon. So true, Bestie. Well, it's just what the kids are saying. I don't know what Bestie means to them. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can be uh, on top of all... Something's wrong with me today. There is something in the There's air something. today. What's the retrograde? Are the stars in the in the box on the line? Yes. Can't stand it. And then hit us up over at Patreon. Patreon.com slash IMHO the show, honey. Also, we are all on Cameo. So if you want a message from me, Alexis, Chan, whoever, you can go ahead. Lorna Luft, you can go to Cameo for that. She's not on Cameo. I bought a Cameo from Lorna Luft. I told you this story. I bought one for Michael, and she talked about washing her hands the whole time. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> also, if you'd like a Cameo from both of us with our background, and us, oh my God, it's like a real episode of IMHO, go to imhotheshow.com, and you can get a Shamio. Yes. And um, that's it. And um, stay sexy. And don't get murdered. <laughs> I wish we could just steal that. I wish we could. I mean, we can. We could say what they stole it from us. Yeah, we've been murdering people for years. So are you trying to say? No, I haven't actually. You have? No. I always thought when you talked about body count, you were talking about dick. Some of them did have dicks. Okay, bye. That's great. You're really good at this.